Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this video, I'm going to solve the problem 2000% of what number is 580. Now, if you want to try this problem on your own, and hopefully, you know, you do, uh, because we are talking about percent, every single person out there should be able to do basic percent problems. Now, this particular problem is a little bit more interesting than just a real kind of basic, uh, simple percent problem, but I have confidence in you. I believe in you. So get your calculator out and uh, try to solve this, right? So whatever you come up with, I'm going to put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer here in just one second. Then I'm going to walk you through uh, step by step the solution to this problem. Now, before we start, I do want to say there's all different types of ways you can uh, approach uh, percent problems. You can use equations, proportions, and, you know, just kind of uh, rote memory um, approaches. Here's the uh, bottom line with me. As long as you know what you're doing you can get and you get the right answer, well, then I think you'll be good to go with percent. But this is one symbol that is everywhere in our everyday life, okay? If there's anything you want to know about math, or should know about math, it is percent, right? Just think about how many times during your, your uh, day you see that symbol, right? You know, any, every time you look at a commercial, uh, you know, there's car commercials, they're talking about, you know, hey, get this percent off this car, or they're talking about inflation or credit card interest rates. You need to understand percent and not just the basic problems, the more interesting problems like this. Uh, so again, if you know how to do this, Go ahead and put your answer into the comment section, and we're going to get into this in just one second. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep, or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if you like this video or get something out of it, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the answer. Again, 2,000% of what number is 580. Well, if you got this right, you would have uh, gotten the answer 29. Okay, so maybe you've got a different answer, right? You're like, no, you're wrong, Mr. Math Teacher. It's uh, a different number. Uh, 29 is not the right answer because what a lot of people are going to do is you're going to take 2,580, and there's a lot, you know, we're obviously going to have to use these two numbers to get to the answer, right? But what do we do? Do we take 2,000 and divide 580, or maybe we take 580 and divide it by 2,000, or maybe we take 580 and multiply it by 2,000? So, you know, as a math teacher, you see all different sorts of uh, numbers and that, are, uh, that are obviously wrong, but they're you know, students are like, well, I got to come up with some answer. So I got to do something with these two numbers. Maybe it's, you know, multiplying them together, dividing them. And this is the thing. Even if you got this uh, correct, if you were guessing, if you just happened to kind of, you know, do this uh, correctly uh, without fully understanding it, then, you know, you want to stick around for the rest of this video. But if you got this right, you're like, no, I totally understand how uh, 29 is the right answer. Let's celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and A plus a 100% and multiple stars so you can tell your friends and family that indeed you are an expert in percent. They'll be very impressed with that information indeed. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this right now. And again, this is an interesting problem because, you know, first of all, we're dealing with a percent that's more than 100, right? So that's kind of confusing. You know, you're probably thinking about, well, like 70% or 18% of something, but 2,000% of something, that's kind of strange. And it's 2,000% of some number is 580. So the, the question in and of itself can be a little confusing uh, for sure. But let's go ahead and just review a more basic percent problem, okay? Because if you don't understand the basic stuff, then you're going to be... Uh, much more confused with a problem like this. So here is a nice, lovely, basic percent problem, kind of a standard, uh, probably the most common type of percent uh, situation that most of us uh, encounter. And that's just uh, simply finding the percent of a number. So let's suppose I wanted to find 70% of 120. So how do we do a problem like this? Well, when you want to find a percent of a number, okay, of some particular value, what we need to do is to change the percent 
into a decimal, okay? So we got a, a change of percent. So here we want to find 70% of 120. Well, we can't work in percent. We're going to have to rewrite this as a decimal. So how do we change 70% into a decimal? Now, obviously, you can see the decimal uh, equivalent of 70% is 0 0.70. So the way you change a percent to a decimal is you simply divide the percent by 100, okay? So you take 70, divide by 100, you get 0.7. But more commonly, uh, what you do is you simply move the uh, decimal point two places to the left. That's the same thing as dividing by 100. So here's 70% or 70.0%. Okay, so here is the location of the decimal point. If I move it over two places to the left, that's what happens when you divide by 100. So 70%, again, as a decimal, is 0 0.70. All right, so that's the first thing you need to do. And then once you have your percent as a decimal, you just simply multiply it by their respective value. So 70% of 120 is going to be 0 0.70 times 120. Okay, so this is how we find the percent of a number. And feel free, again, to use your calculator. 0 0.70 times 120 is 84. Now, what does this mean? Okay, well, it means the following, right? We can kind of uh, tell this whole story this way. 70% of 120 is 84. Okay, 70% of 120 is 84. And I kind of emphasize the uh, word is here because mathematically is, that word is, is always um, equivalent to an equal sign. Okay, so a great way to solve percent problems is to translate them into um, an algebraic equation, right? Something that has an equal sign. Okay, so this is the, my primary uh, method of solving percent problems. Uh, there are other methods. Okay, again, you can use proportions, and you can just kind of know how to do this from memory. Again, as long as you understand what you're doing and get you can get the right answer in all these percent type of uh, prompts, then stick with the method that you're comfortable with. But if you are totally confused, well, let me go ahead and show you the recommended way to solve this problem, at least, you know, in my opinion. Okay, so here we have 2,000% of what number is 580? What we want to do is translate this into a basic algebraic equation. Okay, so remember, we're trying to figure out uh, the percent of some number, all right? Just like we were trying to figure out 70% of 120, we're trying to uh, figure out 2,000% of some number, right? Now, um, remember, the way to uh, get a percent of a number is we need to change this percent into a decimal. Now, again, how do you change the percent, or a percent into a decimal? Remember, you divide by 100 or you move the decimal point over two places to the left. So we're going to kind of uh, translate this situation into an algebraic uh, equation. So 2,000% is the same thing as uh, as a decimal as 2,000 divided by 100. Okay, of course, it is going to be 20, but I'm going to write it this way just to kind of emphasize that going from percent to a decimal, just divide by 100. So it's 2,000% of, of uh, what number? Okay, now what can we establish um, as a the kind of uh, mystery number here, right? We're trying to look for this particular number. Well, this is a great opportunity to use a variable in algebra. We don't know what the number is. So what number? Well, we'll just call that number X for now, right? So 2,000% as a decimal. So 2,000 over 100. Uh, we're going to take that value and multiply it by this number. But we do know that the answer is going to be 580. So here is is. That's our equal sign. And that's going to be 580, right? Okay, so let's just make sure we have this right. So 2,000 over 100 is the same thing as 2,000% as a decimal. All this times some mystery number, okay, is going to be equal to 580. All right, so this is a great way to, again, set up and solve uh, percent problems that are a little bit more involved. All right, so let's go ahead and do the basic algebra here. So uh, just to kind of uh, reiterate, if you were thinking to yourself, well, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, why are you making this hard on yourself? Just move the decimal point over two places to the left right here, one, two. So 2,000% is the same thing as 20. And you would be correct, right? But I wanted, again, 
uh, emphasize that it's the same thing as divide by, divided by 100. So we're going to take this 2,000 divided by 100, the, and we're going to get 20. Right? So 20 times x all right, is what we have here on the left-hand side, uh, and that's going to be equal to 580. So in basic algebra, 20 times x, this uh, equation here, to solve for x, and that's what we're trying to solve for, all we need to do is simply divide both sides of the equation by 20. Okay, And when we do that, we're going to get 580 divided by 20, and we can go in our calculators or just do this by hand, and we get x is equal to 29. And remember, x was the number that we're looking for, right? So 2,000% of 29 is 580. And of course, you can double check that on your calculator. So what is kind of the big picture here? Well, the big picture is, you know, there's different ways to solve percent problems, okay? But you do need to be able to solve percent problems because percent problems are all over the place in real life, right? And again, you know, if you uh, got this right, but you like the uh, some more kind of different technique that you learned uh, in school, stick with that as long as you understand it and you are uh, successful in your problem solving, that's what counts. Now, if you're just kind of starting out uh, with basic math or algebra and you need a good, you know, uh, basic math review to include percent, I'm going to leave a link uh, to all my math courses in the description, specifically my math foundations course, all right? That's a great basic course for those of you out there who kind of need to uh, brush up on basic mathematics. So, you know, if you're like, oh, you know, it's been a while since I've done any math, check out that little mini course. It's a three-chapter course. I go over decimals, fractions, place values, uh, just kind of the basic uh, the essentials to include percent. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.